Hello everyone, this is the video of Legal Studies and in this video we will analyze the syllabus and what are the chapters that we need to cover, what approach we should follow in order to cover all the chapters. So we will be discussing everything in this video. Along with that we will also discuss what are the new things that I did this year that is 2020-21 which was not in the session of 2019-20. So let's check it out. For easy understanding I have opened two windows. One is illustrating the syllabus of last year and the second one is illustrating the syllabus of this year so that you can easily compare what are the new things that is added. So let's begin with the unit 1. As you can see here unit 1 judiciary and unit 1 judiciary. So there is no as such any change. There are four chapters in unit 1 and here also there are four chapters in unit 1. So there is no change. Now discuss about the subject matter judiciary. As you remember we have discussed about the judiciary a structure, hierarchy, constitution, roles and impartiality to and some extent, appointments, training, retirement and removal of judges, courts. So this much we have already discussed in our 11th class. So this year we have to just revise and we have to read something in detail regarding those things. But the new thing that we have that is judicial review which we didn't study in class 11th. So this is new that we need to study here. Apart from this legal offices in India that is also new that we need to discuss here. So likewise we have two new things in comparison to class 11th. Okay. Now come to unit 2 that is topics of law and again here as well. I scroll to compare unit 2 topics of law. So here we have 5 chapters and here we have 5 chapters. So no changes in unit 2nd. We have as it is. Now discuss about the subject matter that is topics of law. Basically it covers 5 chapters here law of property, law of contracts, Law of Torts, Introduction of Criminal Laws in India, Administrative Law. In comparison to last year, it is completely new chapters. We have although discussed something about the property law, law of contracts, law of torts, while discussing the other chapters, but exactly we didn't discuss all these things. I believe we have some perception about the property, contracts, torts and as well as criminal laws because we have studied that. We have studied how to file the criminal cases and all. So we have a little perception about the these chapters but wherever matter of administrative law this is completely new. We need to discuss here so you need to focus more on this chapter. Though you need to focus on every chapter but since about all the chapters you know so you need to just revise or study comparatively in detail but this is completely new. So we will discuss administrative law in detail here. Now come to unit 3. Okay. So unit 3 what it is all about? It is just talking about arbitration, tribunal, adjudication and alternative dispute resolution. So here we have how many chapters? We can see here last year we have 7 chapters and here we have 8 chapters. But in order to understand it what the changes that is done this year I have highlighted this arbitration administrative tribunals. But it is not any new addition. As you can see here, 
types of ADR didn't assign a new chapter rather it is given here only types of ADR that is arbitration administrative tribunals but here it's given new chapters types of ADR different chapter and arbitration administrative tribunals a different chapter so it is increased one chapter otherwise substantially there is no increase okay now come to the about the study materials arbitration tribunal adjudication and alternative dispute resolution well it is something like a confusing name because if we talk about the alternative dispute resolution then we will find there are three modes of alternative dispute resolution okay the first one is arbitration that comes under this heading only arbitration and the second one is mediation that you can see here mediation and the third one is conciliation so under alternative dispute resolution we have three modes of dispute resolution and what is meaning of alternative that is out of court in the court the sort of dispute resolution we see that is known as litigation and other than litigation we have arbitration mediation and conciliation so that is known as basically those are known as alternative dispute resolution so this is about unit 3 and here one thing more that is tribunal adjudication we have studied tribunal in our 11th class if you remember that is regarding the national green tribunal that is consumer forum cat that is central administrative tribunal so we have the idea about what tribunal is okay so we know that now what are the chapters that is given here adversarial and inquisitorial system this is new thing that we need to understand basically this is the type of adjudicating in the court so we will discuss what adversarial and inquisitorial system okay the second one is introduction of alternative dispute resolution that we already discussed here types of ADR we have discussed the three types of ADR this administrative tribunals is given here basically this is known as quasi judicial body come on mediation and conciliation we have studied that we have discussed this lok adalats this is another form of adjudicating system so we will study that then amundsman lokpal and lokayukt we will discuss that these are the new things that you need to focus on though as we didn't study about these things in the 11th class so this is completely new now come to unit 4 what is given in unit 4 first we will compare with last year we have human rights in India introduction constitutional framework and complaint mechanism of quasi judicial bodies it is given as it is so no change now let's discuss about the subject matter human rights in India what does it mean that what are the human rights that being a human we have we will be discussing about that and as chapters defining here history and international context so in international context how it evolved basically the concept of human rights okay and what are the international provisions that protect human rights we will be discussing about those things now the second chapter constitutional framework and related laws in India so here we will discuss the remember we have already discussed a lot about this in our previous class that is in 11th that is fundamental rights so fundamental rights basically talk about human rights okay the third chapter that is complaint mechanism of quasi judicial bodies so as we have seen that all the tribunals are known as quasi judicial bodies so we will be checking out what are the complaint mechanism if you have the consumer dispute so how you will file a complaint okay so we will discuss under this chapter now come to the next unit that is unit 5 
first compare what new we have so that is legal profession in india the first one is history of legal profession in india see here we have separate chapter that is history of legal profession in india previous year the first chapter was history of legal profession in india and that was basically categorized as like this you can see here classification that book act and all this but here classification of lawyers we have separate chapter history of legal profession that is first one classification of lawyers second one and under this we have roles and functions under the classification of lawyers as you can see roles and functions i have highlighted with the green color means this chapter added this year only it wasn't last year as you can see here there was no such chapter next one is the advocates act that is there and next one is lawyers and professional ethics here we have professional ethics and advertising by lawyers what this year it is done that is separated lawyers and professional ethics advertising by lawyers so we have this year two headings last year it was given as one heading okay so now the next one is opportunities for law graduates it is again new as i highlighted in green color so it's a new chapter legal education that is there already liberalization of profession that is there but a new term added that is legal profession liberalization of the legal profession so this is the new term basically apart from this we have complete new heading that is women and the legal profession in india so this is new it wasn't last year likewise in unit 5 we have three headings new that is roles and functions of basically lawyers opportunities for law graduates and women and the legal profession this is completely new entry of this year now what are the things that we need to discuss here that is legal profession of course this talking about the a lawyer's profession what are the facilities what are the restrictions and limitations they have everything we need to discuss under this unit so as you can see here roles and functions advocate advocate acts of 1961 that is basically discusses about the lawyers profession the ethics the limitation the facilities the rights so everything is defined there bar council of india it is the one who basically regulate and conduct everything about the legal system of india next one is lawyers and professional ethics of course we will be discussing here as well only because this provision is mentioned in this act advertising by lawyers of course this is are again mentioned here so advertising by lawyers lawyers are not allowed to solicit their work so we will discuss in detail this thing opportunities for law graduates so we will be seeing what are the legal fields where a law graduate can search for the jobs next one is legal education in india we will check what are the legal education system basically in india next one is liberalization of the legal profession we will be discussing about the liberalization terms in this chapter last one is women and the legal profession in india so this is new thing that we will be focusing women as a lawyer as a judge what are the limitations and the problems a women faces in legal field so we will discuss everything in this chapter now the last chapter of this unit is legal profession in other jurisdiction so we will discuss as of now we know what is meaning of jurisdiction so we will discuss legal profession in other jurisdiction what are the professions basically related to law in other jurisdiction now the next unit is unit 6 which is talking about the legal services so let's first discuss what are the new changes introduction that is the same brief history of legal services that is the same and again come to legal background here i have highlighted the what new thing added since 
द ग्रीन कलर रिफ्लैक्ट द कम्प्लीट न्यू हेडिंग बट दिस कलर इज शोइंग द न्यू एंट्री इन एग्जिस्टिंग चैप्टर ओनली सो एज यू कैन सी हियर इंटरनेशनल लॉ वी हैड लास्ट ईयर दिस ईयर द न्यू टर्मिनोलॉजी इज एडेड दैट इज फ्री लीगल एड अंडर इंटरनेशनल लॉ सिमिलरली फ्री लीगल एड अंडर क्रिमिनल लॉ लास्ट ईयर वी हैड ओनली क्रिमिनल लॉ एज यू कैन सी हियर लीगल एड बाय द स्टेट वी हैड ओनली एफर्ट्स बाय द स्टेट लास्ट ईयर लीगल एड अंडर द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी हैड ओनली द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दो इट इज स्पेसिफाइड बट वी आर इंटेंडेड टू स्टडी ओनली दीज थिंग्स अंडर दिस हेडिंग नेवर द लेस इट इज स्पेसिफाइड सो इट इज गुड फॉर अस ओके सो नाउ कम टू द सब्जेक्ट मैटर लीगल सर्विसेस सो वी हैव अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ वी हैव द प्रोविजन टू प्रोवाइड फ्री लीगल एड टू एवरी वन who is in need of this so we will be discussing all this and that is defined under the directive principles of a state policy of the indian constitution and i believe you must remember something from your previous class that because we have discussed that in that class apart from that we have na lsa regulations 2010 so it is new one we didn't discuss anything about this in 11th class so it is new one we will discuss this as well next chapter is criteria for giving free legal service so we will be discussing what are the criteria how one can avail available free legal service now the next chapter is hierarchy of legal ad service authorities so what are the hierarchy basically how it is arranged first whom you should contact and how you can go one after another that is the purpose especially to get the free legal ad for that purpose only keep in mind so the central authority the state authority the district authority and at the local level we have taluk legal service committee next one is lok adalats we will discuss that lok ad in context of social justice and human rights again we are discussing about the free ad service so we have everything so structured you will be really surprised by knowing this okay and the last one is funding okay so we have all this in under the unit 6 now let's discuss the unit 7 first we will compare what new thing we have that is introduction to international law introduction to international law that's it's a complete separate chapter but last year it wasn't because history and types of international law that was there which is not here though it is not specified this year but of course introduction to international law we will be discussing history and types of international law there as well so don't worry in that account apart from this you can check the sources of international law here we have all three sources of international law okay that is treaties customs and icj that is international court of justice decisions as we have the supreme court's decision that is also a source of law isn't it so similarly the decisions of international court of justice considered as the source of international law now the rest of the chapters as you can see there is no highlights so it is same literally same nonetheless check out what is the subject matter international institutions so you know united nations wto who so these are the international institutions we will be discussing briefly of course not in detail international human rights as we have seen that human rights here you can check it out again international human rights that is somewhere here in unit 4 human rights introduction history and international context so it is something like same so it is revision basically repetition of the same thing we will be discussing the same thing here international human rights okay customary international law so under the heading of customary international law 
we will be discussing about the customs and all that is adopted as law in international context next one is international law and municipal law we know that because we have discussed in 11th class but nevertheless we will discuss something in detail international law and india so we will check how international law influences the municipal law of india and the last chapter we have last unit that is dispute resolution so in the international framework we have icj icc and other dispute resolution mechanism basically talking about the arbitration so we will discuss all these things so this is the syllabus of class 12 legal studies that we have analyzed and discussed and the source of the syllabus that i have given here of course from the cbse's official websites from the cbse's official website 2021 so you can check here okay so these are the things wherever matter of the sources of a study materials you can check out the ncert's legal studies book this is all for this video i believe you must understood this syllabus system however if you have any query you can ask through the comment box given below